Yo, it is Gay YouTube. Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be breaking down the best team possible here in NBA 2K25, my team right now. Basically, the best squad that you can build at the end of season one. And again, this is just my opinion, but I think this is the best team that was basically made available in season one of my team and probably the best team, honestly, that I think we've ever seen in my team this early in the year. That is how good this squad is. Um... The pacing of this year is going to be interesting, to say the least, because season one, we got some ridiculously good cards. With that being said, before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, tons of consistent daily My Team content. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. So at the starting point guard position, I don't think this one is a hard decision, at least for me personally. Devin Booker. I think D-Book is the best point guard in the game. A lot of cards in this team are very, very expensive. D-Book is certainly one of them. 6'6", 99 offense, 89 defense. Offensively, he has the best release in the game, one of the best dribble styles in the game. Maybe not the best release in the game, but one of the best releases in the game. One of the best dribble styles in the game. Probably the best fade in the game. Um, is a very capable slasher in his own right. Elite crossover, really good drag back. His animations offensively are just phenomenal. And then defensively, he's got good steel, good perimeter, good interior, solid defender. Not insane, but he's a 6'6 PG with decent defense. And he's got 93 speed with 83 speed with ball, or sorry, 93 speed, 88 speed with ball, 88 agility, 84 vert. Uh, badge wise, I mean, as a base card, has what, 28 total badges, I believe. And then upgraded, he's even more than that. Like, just really complete really good card it might not be 28 total badges fully badged he's got 29 so he gets 29 total badges as a fully badged card but he's super complete super good best point guard in the game for sure starting shooting guard kind of also a no-brainer is um dunktober paul george pretty easily in my opinion amazing card who does everything incredibly well six foot eight 98 offense 99 defense has elite shooting elite slashing elite ball handling elite defense all the way around including block and interior uh 94 speed 96 agility 97 vert even an 80 strength he has basically galaxy opal stats hoff posterizer limitless range handles for days post lockdown challenger off ball pass glove interceptor shifty shooter lightning launch on ball menace go bad is like dead eye slippery bailout break starter uh pick dodger uh set shot specialist high flying and iron pay patroller he's just arguably the most complete card in the game stat and badge wise elite release solid movement incredible card best shooting guard in the game for sure small forward also a no-brainer for the starting lineup big Braun, duh he is right there maybe the best card in the game still even though he came out day one he's still at least in the argument for best card in my team um he is 99 offense 98 defense 97 driving layup basically a 93 ball 90 mid-range 80 free throw 97 driving dunk 87 ball handle 80 block 88 steel 90 perimeter and interior defense 95 speed 91 speed of ball, 93 agility, 94 vert, 90 strength. Does everything extraordinarily well. There are really no true flaws to this card. Uh, and he is also the most complete badged up card in the game. If you are fully badged LeBron, he's got 38 of 40 total badges on whatever tier you want them to be. He is absolutely insane. The most complete and probably still arguably the best card in my team. Backup, or not backup, I'm sorry. Starting power forward is going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo. Another kind of no-brainer. 96 offense, 99 defense. Uh, he's not the greatest shooter, but he fits perfectly as a screen and roll guy or even a sit-in-the-corner guy offensively. Next to a guy like Booker, who's as elite of a shot creator as he is at the three-point line, I feel like Giannis fits really well next to that type of point guard in Booker. Uh, so that's another plus about having him at the PG spot, or having Booker at the PG spot, and then Giannis fits really well at power forward. But his release is solid enough to where that 67 three ball is pretty greenable pretty consistently. 90 standing and 95, 90 driving dunk, 92 free throw. Amazing defender. Yes, the stats and the badges are really good, but y'all know Giannis's animations improve that even more. He is just so complete. He is so glitchy. He is so switchable and versatile defensively. Can do everything from guard on ball to guard the biggest and baddest centers in the game on the inside. He is the most versatile defensive card in the game. One of the glitchiest finishers in my team. Super duper complete in his own right. Add a couple shooting badges to Giannis and you have yourself an absolute demigod. Elite, elite, elite power forward. And then starting center is also pretty easy. David Robinson. In my opinion, the starting lineup is pretty clear right now. D-Book, PG, Braun, Giannis, D-Rob. The best starting lineup you can get in my team right now, not including hidden gems, obviously. And D-Rob is kind of a no-brainer best center in the game. He's 7-1, 98 offense, 99 defense. Has a great release, an 85 three ball, 85 standing and driving dunk. 92 block, 96 interior, 84 steel, 87 interior, or sorry, 87 perimeter. 94 rebounding, 87 speed and agility, 85 vert, 93 strength. He's basically similar to guys like Shaq, Wilt Kareem on the inside, but he also gives you elite floor spacing ability. The ability to shoot the ball at a super high level. Hoff posterizer, rise up 
up, post fade phenom, post lockdown, poker stick, rebound chaser, brick wall, post powerhouse, post up poet and paint patroller. So a ton of interior badges as a base card on him. You add a few more badges, some shooting badges to him and stuff. He is just just ridiculous because he spaces the floor so well he's so versatile but then he's also such an elite inside big in a way that really no other card is across the board uh, at the center position i think he's easily the best center in the game and he is the duh starting center for this team now backup point guard is much tougher for me i would say there's a few options now for me personally with the way that i have this team assembled i think d wade is the best choice because he is the best defensive point guard overall in combination with his slashing and overall ability like maybe gary is slightly better defensively but d wade has a bigger player build than gary he is an elite shot blocking point guard interior defensive point guard shoots the ball well pro 2 fade is really really nice as well that helps him out as a shooter elite slasher which is something that gary payton is not uh, 85 block 92 steel 92 perimeter a 70 interior um jaw has a better release but jaw is small and doesn't defend as well on the interior gary is a better defender but and and probably does have a slightly better release as well but doesn't play quite as well on the interior doesn't have the same player building isn't the same slasher those two guys also have arguments for this spot but to me i would give the edge to d wade because of his overall versatility and his defensive ability as well which is especially important when you consider the fact that he is surrounded by pretty solid shot creation this might come as a surprise the card that i have at the backup two but it's actually Jack Marin. I think Jack Marin with his Curry Escape and the Pro 2 Fade, just elite level animations across the board. The versatility that Jack Marin has is that that almost no other card in my team does when it comes to overall versatility and shot creation because he's got top tier six, he's got a top two release and a top tier fade. Plus he's solidly athletic, 90 perimeter, 88 interior as well. So he's a versatile good defender, 90 speed, 90 agility, 88 vert, 88 speed ball, 78 strength. All the athleticism stats are good as well. And he is also very solidly complete, can kind of do everything well. Um, just a very, very complete, very good card who gives you additional secondary shot creation at a high level. And honestly, the backup small forward position is a little bit tough. So honestly, sliding Marin at the two allows us to put Scotty Pippen at the three. And Pippen at the three is able to just be a menace as a three and D athlete, has a good fade, can shot create himself a little bit with the fade, with the athletic ability, even though his sigs aren't truly top tier. 88 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 90 for mid range, 86 ball handle, 80 block, 89 interior, 97 steel and perimeter defense, 90 speed, 897 agility, 89 vert 84 strength he is so good defensively but his release is also absolutely elite half set shot specialist gold dead eye gold lightning launch strong handle so a few other badges there as well now he could use a few more badges as well but defensively he is one of the very best cards in the game and fully badged out with badges like limitless bailout handles for days brick wall paint patroller or shifty shooter you get yourself a incredible incredible card who does pretty much everything well i really think he's an elite level option i'm a huge huge fan of scotty pippen and I, while i will probably never have this card because of his price although he does seem like he's a little cheaper right now i still think he's an amazing card and i think backup small forward for this team specifically actually makes a lot of sense backup power forward is going to be the card i'm using as my starting center right now which is willis reed um i think willis reed is really really good uh i think he's pretty expensive for a diamond he's the most expensive diamond card in the game right now i do believe i could be wrong about that but i think he is but what he is is 610 with an absolute burner his jumper is incredible um 90 standing and 90 driving dunk so he's got real athleticism he's a versatile very good defender on the perimeter and the interior he's a great rebounder 84 speed 83 agility 90 vert 92 strength he gives you overall versatility at the power forward position where he can guard Giannis. he can guard bigs he can guard inside bigs he's got switchability he's got enough speed to compete he's got an absolutely elite jumper and on this team specifically i think he fits the power forward position perfectly and i do believe he makes the best team in the game as well both he and Jack Marin from this Greatest Era 70 edition making the best squad in the game. This was a pretty darn good pack drop. And Willis Reed is an absolutely incredible. The backup center for this lineup is still kind of a no-brainer, especially with Willis at backup power forward. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, similar to Giannis, he is the only one questionable shooter in your lineup. Both starting lineup and bench, this is how you want your team assembled. You want everybody to be able to shoot at, the incre at an incredibly high level, and if you are going to have one questionable shooter, make sure it's only one. And Kareem is that one. He is 97 offense, 99 defense, 7'2", 
Only a 62 three ball, yes. But the release is not terrible. He can hit with relative consistency, especially if you're good at rhythm shooting. 90 standing, 90 driving dunk, um, and obviously insane defensively, seven foot two, amazing rebounder, elite speed, good agility, vert, elite strength, great stamina. Just really, really good card. He is dominant on the interior, elite defensively, one of the best inside bigs in the game, but does give you the ability to stretch the floor a bit as well. I had Curry on my lineup for a couple weeks. He was an incredible top tier card, and he is still an incredible top tier card. Definitely in my my opinion the backup center for this squad so to recap the team the starting lineup is d book paul george lebron Giannis, and d rob off the bench got d wade jack Marin, scotty pippen willis reed kareem abdul jabbar let me know if you would change anything on your best team possible theoretically and if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace